Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the review for this IREVO Smart Entertainment Box and IREVO claims that using this box you can make your television smart television and this is the actual product. I've already done the unboxing for this device so you can check out that video to know what comes inside the box and this is typically an Android uh, uh, box that we get but the speciality is that we have the IREVO cloud on this device and it offers a lot of connectivity uh, you can connect it to your television using the hdmi slot but we also have uh, analog inputs if your television is old you can also use that but they don't provide the cables for that you have to get by default we also get two usb ports on this so you can connect uh, for example usb otg devices like usb pen drives keyboards mouse etc so it offers additional functionality and we also have a ethernet so you can physically connect it to internet Internet connection or you can connect it via Wi-Fi I did all my testing using Wi-Fi so let's have a look at this device now so this is the interface that you get uh, when you first boot the device uh, and this is the air mouse and you just move in and the cursor moves with that so that is how it is and this is the iRevo cloud that they like to call and here as you can see we have quite a bit of icons over here and uh, we can move between them we have Instagram stuff and uh, as you can see you can also go to traditional Android uh, if you click here this is your normal Android as you can see you have the apps etc and this is nothing special but running on an Android uh, what do you say uh, box for example if you go to the settings and if you go down let me actually show you you can set up your Wi-Fi networks etc if you use an Android device it will be very familiar if you go to about the device it's actually running on android version 4.4.2 uh, but again most of the time you will be staying within this app this is the irevo cloud that they like to call and here as you can see uh, you have selection for example video of the day uh, they do change this almost every other day and i'm going to mute the audio because i don't want to fall into copyright issues uh, but as you can see it starts like this but quickly just goes to full screen in a second or so like this and I'll just get out and we also have YouTube using which again the content is sort of curated uh, one thing I like is how fluid the operation is within this app as you can see it's actually pretty fluid to operate again I have muted the audio uh, but the audio also works pretty well for example if you just click here and let's see and it's going to play uh, and again I'm going to mute the audio and for the most part uh, I would say the video quality is actually pretty good uh, it plays up to 1080p not 4k content but as you can see it plays it fine I'll just get out of this and again you can use this air mouse to get you have the back button and uh, so it's actually pretty easy and a deep pad to navigate uh, here we have a search option for example let's search for my I own channel that is Kiki Ranjit and uh, if I search for that and if we hit search here as you can see you can get but specifically uh, it doesn't take me directly to the channel uh, so this actually works for example if you play this I can show you the audio on this because this is my own video let's let's uh, see this and as you can see Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we will be doing the full in-depth review for this Asus Zenfone 2 and the biggest thing about this Zenfone 2 is that it comes with four So as you can see it works actually so very well So let's get on with Let me just get, get out So it is there but uh, the search is a little bit granular I would say uh, and uh, but again the quality as you have seen is actually pretty decent so let's get out so that's the YouTube functionality uh, the biggest highlighting thing I would say for this app is the TV shows and if you click here as you can see you get a lot of shows over here and they have quite a bit of collection I would say as you can see we are on the page 2 of 45 so there are a lot of shows that are available and you can again just click and it starts playing the latest content again I'm going to mute it as you can see it's playing and again it plays it actually pretty well uh, again as you can see the quality is pretty good uh, I would say if you have about 2 megabit internet connection the uh, quality should be pretty good it's playing in HD but one thing I have noticed is that for some of the shows the content is not that fresh for example uh, if you go to comedy nights I like uh, this show 
I actually don't watch a lot of TV, but this is one show that I like to watch. But uh, one thing I have noticed is, as you can see, yes, it's pulling out some content, but uh, this is the latest one. But again, uh, this is also more than a month old. So again, you got to be aware that not all the shows are updated frequently. Yes, there are, are some shows that are updated. For example, the shows on this first page, first two pages, these are updated frequently. But again, uh, it's not a replacement, direct replacement for your television, I would say, because some of the shows can be about two to three weeks late. So this is the major functionality, I would say, the TV shows, and it works very well. We also have a section for movies, and here we have movies, and these also actually work pretty well. For example, let me just open this. But again, as you can see, these are the movies that we have, but all of them are actually pretty old in my opinion. Uh, I could not find the latest movies over here, but again, it works pretty well. For example, let's uh, let me show this. I'll just mute the audio again, and it starts playing actually pretty quickly. Uh, so as you can see, it starts playing the uh, what do you say movie, and it's again without any ads or anything like that. So the experience is actually pretty good. As you can see, it started uh, playing the movie. I'll just get out. I don't want to fall in copyright issues. So that works, but the selection is actually pretty old. Uh, we also have a Bollywood uh, section here, if you go here. And these are some of the popular singers and they have uh, uh, some of the videos, but uh, nothing that exhaustive, I would say. Again, they have something similar like this even for Hollywood. And here we have it, as you can see. And you can just click and it will start uh, playing the content, for example. Here, as you can see, they'll pull out the latest videos that are available for that artist. And if you just click and it starts playing. So that works. Apart from this, you can uh, also play some games. For example, Angry Birds worked fine, uh, but most of the other games did not work fine. For example, let me actually show you. Let, let's just go back to the Android Home out of this. And I did uh, download some games. For example, I downloaded Dead Trigger and even uh, one more game that is Temple Run 2. For example, it starts, the game installed fine and everything worked. But simply as this uh, device does not have touch features, some of the games are expecting those touch features to be present. Hence, you just cannot move out of the menus and you get sort of stuck. So as you can see, this screen loads, but here, if I click this play, see I'm clicking it, it simply does not go or move ahead. I can't even go to menus. So the same problem I had even with the dead trigger too. It installed fine. So let me get out. And we also have the traditional Android features, for example, multitasking as you can see. So this is there. End of the day, it's an Android box, I would say. Uh, one good thing I did notice is that browsing experience is actually pretty good on this device. Uh, we have the Chrome web browser. You can also install third-party browsers. And uh, you can do web browsing, for example. Uh, let me type this. This is the virtual keyboard. And let's hit go. And it's going to the mobile uh, version. Let's force it to the desktop. Uh, in terms of web browsing, the performance was actually pretty good. Uh, as you'll see, as you can see, it loads the websites, etc. pretty quickly. And uh, you can scroll around, move around. And for the most part, it works pretty well. For example, let's just open this uh, particular link. And as we have a back button on the uh, remote, you can use this back button to go back to a particular site. For example, this site is loading a bit slow. Uh, let's go to Redef and let's hit this news. As you can see, it uh, loaded the page pretty fast. So in terms of web browsing, you can do this and you can just hit this to go to full screen mode also. Now we are in the full screen mode. As you can see, it works. For example, let's open this link. And uh, we can just hit the back button that is on the remote and that should take us back to one page. So web browsing is actually pretty decent and uh, using Chrome, you can open tabs, etc., and that also works. So let me just get out of this. 
So end of the day, it's a typical Android device. Another good thing is that you can attach USB thumb drives, etc. to it. And for example, let's say you have a lot of movies, etc. on your thumb drive or hard drive. You can easily connect that. And uh, it also has a built-in DLNA client. For example, that is eHope Media Center. And if you have a DLNA server, uh, it'll see that. For example, let me show you that. And you can go to the media player. And as you can see, this is my ASUS router. Uh, which has content and it is visible via DLNA. So you, you don't even have to connect it directly. Uh, if you have a DLNA enabled router or anything, uh, it, you can directly browse using that. I also installed third party me media player like MX player. For example, let's, uh, I downloaded this from the Android Play Store. It's pretty easy. And as you can see, I have about four videos and we can easily uh, just click and watch, for example, let's, Watch this, I'll just mute the audio again. Let's say start over. Again, I've muted the audio, guys. The audio comes fine. Let me just show you for a second the audio also. As you can see, the audio also works fine. Let me get out. And it plays uh, the content without any issues. This is a 1080p video that I have. Let me play this one. Oops. as you can see so in terms of media playback you wouldn't have any problems uh, i would just say just install this mx player uh, it's much easier to work with so again it's a complete android device that we have so you can install your favorite apps on it and you want to go back you can just uh, click this irevo and you are back to the irevo cloud and as you can see just iRevo is also offering us a mobile app. So you can install it on your smartphones and then use that to watch the content. Let me actually show you that. And this is the mobile app. Uh, that's the iRevo app they call it. And this is in beta, they have told me. And yes, there are some bugs, but as you can see, this is the default interface. And uh, from here, you can access again a lot of stuff. For example, if you go to TV shows, all the shows are available. And let's say if you're not uh, uh, in your house also, then you can watch whatever is present on this iRevo cloud. For example, if you just click here, and these are the shows that are present, you can just select whatever you want, just click on it. And if you have a decent internet connection, as you can see, it starts playing. So that works actually very well. And let me just get out of this. Uh, we also have uh, YouTube uh, and even the movies that were available on the iRevo cloud, those are also there. So you can just, let's say, click here and watch the movies. Another thing is that we have uh, this option. Right now it's not connected. Uh, if I was in the same place uh, where the iRevo device was there, I can just hit this and then remotely play this directly on the television so this uh, will act like a what do you say remote control uh, if it's connected a remote control app i can come here and so you can remotely control the device using that so this also works very well and i would say it's a good value add uh, to this device so what do i feel about this irevo smart television uh, i would say it's a pretty interesting product the biggest differentiator between this product and most of the other android uh, sticks or android tvs is that iRevo Cloud. And for the most part, I would say the iRevo Cloud works actually very well and it's very fluid to operate. And uh, they do sell this model with this air mouse or a regular, uh, what do you say, a remote. I would uh, say don't offer the regular remote, go with this air mouse because it can also act as a mouse and many times uh, that is easier to operate. So overall, I would say the iRevo Cloud functionality is very good. But I would say I'm a little bit disappointed in terms of the content that is offered. Yes, there are a lot of TV shows, etc. that are available. Uh, but I noticed that many of the shows, uh, the content is delayed. It, the delay can be between a week or two. Uh, but for some of the shows, uh, the content was relatively fresh. I would say it was appearing after two, three days. So it's not consistent. Also, they say that they provide movies, etc. But again, the selection of movies, etc. was also pretty uh, actually 
old and apart from that i would say it's like a regular android uh, what do you say uh, stick or anything it's completely android so you can install apps etc it has support for play store as you've seen in the review and you can install that but again the functionality is a little bit wonky if you get out of that i iCloud because android is made for touch yeah and yes you can use the basic app etc as we have seen uh, with air mouse but in some of the applications touch functionality is required that is not there for example in games yes it could play some basic games uh, like angry birds etc with this air mouse but many of the other games it was simply not possible for example dead trigger i tried that and i also tried one more game that was temple run and that also did not work so i would say don't go for this uh, device for gaming the, in terms of gaming i would say the functionality is so so many of the games will simply not work apart from that one more thing that i'm missing is they don't have any support as of now for live television channel so we don't have that yes you it has a built-in browser you can open the, the chrome web browser and go to specific websites uh, many of these news channels have that and via that you can view it but again with their cloud service we don't have any functionality uh, or something like that and uh, this air mouse also actually worked pretty well uh, and as uh, per the functionality is working great but i did not like the build quality it's just too plasticky i would say so overall it's a pretty decent device for what it does uh, but again uh, in terms of content functionality yes the content is a little bit limited but if you uh, like to use it as a standalone media player and you, let's say you have a lot of content from example on your hard drives thumb drives etc that works you can easily plug in uh, your hard drive to this device using the usb port and that way you can watch the content using uh, the what do you say media players like mx player etc that actually works also you uh, it does have functionality for dlna and i did test that and that also worked so as an android pc it does work i would say uh, but again you are paying sort of a premium uh, this product is selling in india for around 8500 and it's available in online stores like snapdeal amazon and even on flipkart the typical functionality is you are getting an android uh, a box that you're connecting to your television and if you're sort of a power user yes you can take a lot of advantage of that because you have support for google play store so you can install all the apps and get the additional functionality uh, but i would say for a, a normal to a casual user User, uh, the highlighting factor for this product would be the iRevo cloud and its features. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.